he likes exotic foods. Food comes in all shapes and sizes, but sometimes it can be outright strange. Let's take a look at 10 foods you didn't know existed. Fried tarantulas. Here is Miss Tarantula. Tarantulas are pretty creepy. Their long legs and hairy bodies alone are what nightmares are made of. But combine that with their massive size, just the thought of being near one makes most people flee. Tarantulas are so big that they enjoy feasting on mice and frogs. In fact, their leg span can reach as long as 11 inches in length and their average lifespan is about 30 years. Tarantulas, when alive, are considered extremely dangerous and poisonous. But did you know that you can enjoy their tastiness when cooked without any danger? That's right, fried tarantulas are considered a delicacy in Cambodia. Cambodia? Man, you kidding me. Where they're often served on a plate crouched on all eight legs. Seemingly intact, the tarantulas look like they're about to pounce on you as you get ready to take your first bite. Fried tarantulas are often served with chili and lime dressing, but you can also enjoy this furry little snack when rolled in sugar or garlic. The taste itself is often referred to as a cross between chicken and cod. Apparently, everything does taste like chicken. So the next time you find yourself stranded in the desert and come upon a hairy eight-legged friend, try capturing it. It could very well save your life, or at the very least, satisfy your munchies. Kool-Aid Pickles Kool-Aid comes out! Many of you might remember growing up in the 80s and 90s sipping Kool-Aid on hot summer days. Life was good, drinks were cool, and pickles were just pickles. But who would have ever considered mixing both those foods together? Well, Mississippi did. Kool-Aid pickles originate from the state of Mississippi, but have quickly become a cult favorite. They're exactly what they sound like, pickles that were soaked in Kool-Aid. Sometimes referred to as coolicles, they can quickly be prepared at home for a delicious snack anytime you get hungry. Best of all, Kool-Aid comes in many flavors and colors colors, making the possibilities truly endless. The possibilities are endless here. Cherry Kool-Aid is known as being the best option for maximum flavor, but literally all Kool-Aid flavors taste great when combined with pickles. Preparing them is quite simple. All you have to do is cut the pickles lengthways for maximum flavor saturation and then add them to a jar with the Kool-Aid of your choice and some sugar. Let them sit for a week in the refrigerator, shaking daily, and there you have it. You can now enjoy a tasty yet rare snack anytime you wish. You can even try using Kulikals with other meals, like adding them to burgers. Frog legs. I do love frog's legs. Frogs are slimy creatures that live in swampy areas. Definitely not the first thought that crosses your mind when thinking of a food delicacy. But think again, these happy little creatures are actually adored worldwide, especially in France and Asia. Frog's legs are exactly what you think they are, the back legs of a frog. Usually fried or baked, these tiny little legs have little to no meat on them, so you'll need quite a bit to fill you up. There's about as much meat on frog's legs as you'll find on your typical chicken wing. And surprisingly enough, frog legs taste a bit like chicken, along with a faint taste of fish. Hey, don't worry, it tastes like chicken. Often served with garlic and cream sauce, they can be enjoyed alone or along with rice, salad, or other their sides. Beware, these little legs look just like they did when they were attached to the frog. So if you're uncomfortable eating something that still looks the same as when it was alive, you may want to avoid these. Interesting fact about frog's legs, a frog's two front legs have four toes each, whereas the back legs actually have five toes on each. While you may not find them very cute, you'll definitely get some benefits from eating their legs. Frog legs are loaded with protein, vitamin A, potassium, and omega Omega-3 fatty acids. New to our channel? Then take a quick second and hit that subscribe button. You're the best. Thanks. Sheep brains. Brains? It's a known fact that sheep are raised for their meat, wool, and milk. A sheep's wool is among the most coveted types of wool on the planet for its soft and fluffy texture. What you probably didn't know is that their brains are just as coveted. And no, we're not talking about sheep zombies. 
Sheep brain is a common meal, or used to be, in the United Kingdom, Turkey, China, and India. While some areas, like the UK, have banned sheep brain ever since the mad cow disease outbreak in the 80s and 90s, it remains available as a delicacy in other regions, such as Turkey and India. In fact, some regions also let you eat the brain of other animals as well, including pig, cow, and even horses. What? Since the brain is much smaller than the rest of a sheep, and since it's harder to source, it's often reserved as a culinary art form, making it incredibly rare and expensive when you do find the dish. So what does brain taste like? It's said to have a very creamy yet firm taste, and is apparently quite delicious. Not only is it said to be delicious, but it's also considered a superfood due to a large amount of protein and nutrients. If you can get past the fact that you're eating brains, you might very well enjoy it. Pickled Pig's Feet Pig Feet. I want some pig feet. Remember Porky Pig, the famous Looney Tunes character that loved saying, That's all, folks, at the end of an episode? Well, when it comes to eating pork, bacon, ham, and ribs may not be all we can enjoy. Pickled pig's feet brings a whole new dimension to eating pork. This time, we get to feast on the pig's feet. The feet of a pig may not be the first thing that comes to mind when you think of tasty treats, but these are actually adored, mostly in the southern United States. Eaten straight from a jar with a fork, they tend to have a sour and salty taste to them, making them the perfect nighttime snack. Mm, sounds like midnight snacks. In fact, pig's feet are often prepared in the same manner as other types of pork, salted and smoked. All sorts of spices can be added, or they can be added to jars with vinegar, sort of like pickles. Not only is this delicious snack incredibly tasty, but it's also said to be quite healthy. Pickled pig's feet are loaded with protein and are also said to be excellent for your bones, joints, and skin. You should be able to easily find pickled pig's feet in certain regions in the United States, Germany, Mexico, Italy, and China, where they're most common. Tuna eyeballs. Ah! Tuna. Tuna, tuna, tuna. If brains don't get your tummy rumbling, maybe eyeballs will. Tuna is a commonly eaten fish that is super tasty and incredibly versatile. You can enjoy tuna sandwiches, tuna fillets, and even tuna wraps. But the versatility of tuna doesn't end there. Tuna eyeballs are another part of this delicious fish that you can enjoy. Fish. Tuna eyeballs are exactly what you think, the eyeballs of a tuna. Often served two at a time, why break up a perfect pair? These little balls of vision are said to taste a little like octopus or squid, and are often said to have a similar texture to hard-boiled eggs. Commonly available in Japan, tuna eyeballs are considered a culinary delicacy and are served at high-end events alongside other hors d'oeuvres like caviar. Eating eyeballs may not sound appetizing, but they sure are good for you. These little eyes are said to stimulate your brain cells, making you smarter. You can also find comfort in knowing that they're filled with unsaturated fatty acids and are known to be good for fighting off memory loss. One thing is for certain, you probably won't have a hard time remembering the time you ate eyeballs as an appetizer. And if you think tuna eyes are small, think again. A single tuna eyeball can be about as big as a tennis ball. Reindeer. Reindeer? On Dasher, on Dancer, on Prancer, and so on. Santa Claus is famous for using reindeer to guide his sleigh on the most important night in a child's life, Christmas Eve. Reindeer easily stand out because of their large antlers. In fact, reindeer have the largest antlers of all deer species, with male antlers able to reach as much as 51 inches in length. It's so... Big. While these cute and lovable creatures are adored by children worldwide, they also apparently taste quite good. Also known as caribou, reindeer is enjoyed as a meal in places like Canada, Russia, Finland, and Alaska. Reindeer meat has faced some adversity over the years, mostly due to its Christmas-related PR, stalling this delicious meat from becoming even more popular. Like most venison meat, reindeer tastes quite gamey and has a high concentration of iron bringing on a slight metallic taste. In general, reindeer meat is much more tender than regular beef and is often much more
more lean as well. This is because reindeer store fat on the outside of their muscles. In places like Alaska and Canada, you'll often stumble upon reindeer meat being sold in supermarkets or on restaurant menus. You can even find it available in sausage format for a quick snack. While incredibly cute and useful on Christmas Eve, reindeer can also be enjoyed as a lovely dinner as well. Sorry, Santa. Easy Squirt Colored Ketchup 75 hungry employees and one bottle of ketchup. There are only a few table condiments that have survived the test of time. Ketchup is one of those flagship condiments that has seemingly been around forever and isn't going away anytime soon. Ketchup recipes date all the way back to 1732, although those original versions would taste nothing like the ketchup we all know and love today. These early recipes would often include other ingredients such as mushrooms, walnuts, or even oysters. The ketchup we all know was launched in 1869, and today, over 97% of households in America say they have at least one bottle of ketchup in their home. Ketchup? Ketchup? While not much has changed with the recipe in the past hundred years or so, Heinz did try out a few different varieties at times, including their Easy Squirt colored ketchup. In the early 2000s, Heinz launched this type of ketchup that was available in two different colors, purple or green. Mostly made for kids, the ketchup would allow you to enjoy purple colored hot dogs or Hulk-like hamburgers. Even the bottles were playful with fun stripes and loads of color. There sure were some weird snacks and condiments, but sadly, this one disappeared, and we now have to resort to plain old regular red ketchup. The Easy Squirt colored ketchup launched in July 2000, but was discontinued just six years later, causing a lot of unlucky kids to miss out on the colors and joys of colorful food. Rattlesnake Hello, brother. Rattlesnakes, just like tarantulas, tend to inspire fear. The fact that a single rattlesnake bite could take your life is scary on its own. But add the rattling noise to the mix, and it feels like rattlesnakes were created just to make us run away. While not the friendliest creatures you'll ever come across, if you do see one and end up killing it, you might want to keep it for a tasty meal. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> That's right, just like tarantulas, rattlesnakes can also be enjoyed as a delicious treat. The meat of a rattlesnake is white and quite tender, and it's often been said to taste a little like frog's legs. However, some consider rattlesnake to be quite gamey and chewy, bringing it all down to personal preference on whether or not you may enjoy this type of meat. Ways to prepare rattlesnake meat are almost endless. You can fry it, bake it, grill it, and so much more. With the largest rattlesnakes measuring as much as 8 feet in length, you should have quite a lot of meat from a single snake. These rattlers may seem quite scary, but many people swear by how delicious they are. Wasp Crackers <laughs> There's nothing better than a hot summer day in the sun by a lake. Until a wasp shows up, that is. Those little bugs can ruin a perfectly amazing day with a single sting, and can even send some people straight to the ER. Well, humans are now getting their vengeance as people are enjoying wasp crackers in certain parts of the globe. Crack ass crackers. That's right, crackers or cookies filled with dead wasps. The crunchy little flying bugs are apparently very delicious and provide amazing health benefits, including lots of proteins, carbohydrates, and fatty acids. In fact, wasps can contain up to 77 grams of protein per 100 grams of wasp. Digger wasps are a fan favorite since they have a smaller stinger, which lessens the chance of you injuring the side of your mouth while eating them. Because, yes, you can actually get hurt when eating wasps. Their stingers are not removed and are basically tiny needles. Japan is where you'll have the most luck finding wasp biscuits or crackers. Families in Japan actually raise wasps and care for them until they mature enough to be considered ready for consumption. Crackers aren't the only way to enjoy wasps. They can also be pickled, fried, or even added to other recipes to give a little crunchy kick to a meal. Bite into more great videos. Just tap or click. First time here? Then leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.